Welcome to Sky Broking Commodity Weekly Market Commentary. Disclaimer: This weekly market commentary is for information purpose only. Before taking any decision, consult your financial advisor. Major data of this week has inflation related data and the major events like ECB press conference on Thursday. Now let's see the precious metals outlook. Gold and silver has news like gold prices rallied after a robust employment report was accompanied with soft wages which will bolster the dovish fed members argument to have a slower rate hiking path. Demand for safe havens was elevated after Russians seized Europe's largest nuclear plant in southeastern Ukraine. Russia's military campaign continues to make gains and that is leading to fears that they have an ambition to take control of all of Ukraine. With both European equities and the euro in free fall, demand for safe havens will not be easing anytime soon. Fundamentally, this is a positive news for precious metals. And technically speaking, gold may close 52,900 on daily basis, which means further rally on positive side with resistance of 53,925 levels. Silver may close 69,340 on daily basis, which means further rally is on positive basis. Now let's see the energy outlook. First is crude oil. It has a news like oil prices have been one way market but the potential return of Iranian crude supplies could provide much relief to very tight market. Over the weekend, IAEA chief is expected to visit Tehran and could make a breakthrough over the last roadblocks that are preventing a revival of the 2015 Iran nuclear deal. If energy traders believe a nuclear deal is imminent, whatever dip we see in crude prices might be short-lived. Iran claims that they will be able to ramp up production quickly, but the potential disruptions of Russian supplies is too big of a shock for energy markets. Fundamentally, this is a mixed news for crude oil, and technically speaking, crude oil may expect a high swing with high volatility trade. Next is natural gas. It has a news like the national average for a gallon of gas hit $4.009 according to AAA which is the highest since 2008. Fundamentally, this is a positive news for natural gas. And technically speaking, natural gas may expect a profit booking near 386.5 levels. Now let's look into the base metals outlook. First is copper. It has a news like copper TCRC stable with smelters building Q2 stock tonnages. This is fundamentally a neutral news for copper. And technically speaking, copper may expect a positive range bound trade until close below 816 levels. Next is aluminum. It has a news like low carbon aluminum differentials flat as demand weakens on Russian invasion. This is fundamentally a negative news for aluminum and technically speaking, aluminum may expect a profit booking. Next is lead. It has a news like inventories of lead ingots across China warehouses increased. This is fundamentally a slight negative news for lead and technically speaking, lead has closed below 187 levels which means some more profit booking may be seen. Next is zinc. It has a news like market sentiment eased to some point as the second round of Russia-Ukraine talk was more productive than the first one, especially when more and more countries declared neutrality towards this geopolitical tension. This is fundamentally a slight positive news for zinc and technically speaking, zinc may expect a positive bias. And the last is nickel. It has a news like slow trading in China's NPI market after LME nickel prices source. The old prices are up. Fundamentally, this is a skeptical positive news for nickel. And technically speaking, nickel may expect a high volatility trade. So these are this week's commodity weekly market commentary. For more market updates, join our Telegram channel and the YouTube channel. Thank you by Skybroking.